I mean, if you have a cargo van business, you know how hard it is sometimes to always uh, win bids, right? I mean, you got to go through a lot of stuff. You have to contact dispatchers. You have to go through load bars. You have to do a lot of things. So in today's conversation, I want to really explain to you how to actually have a formula for success in place such as you always win bids, okay? Boss, if you if you have a cargo van business or a sprint van, sprint van business for that matter, you want to always win bids, here's what you have to do. Here are the steps I want you to follow right now. So the first thing you got to do here is you need to contact potential clients. See, the whole thing here is that everybody believes that you have to actually go to a load board to a load board to actually find clients. No, you can actually, uh, in your city, you can do a Google reach, a Google search, okay, based on uh, the area where you are currently at and trying to contact clients directly. I mean, I'm talking about local restaurants. We have hotels, we have offices. And the thing is, you know, it doesn't hurt. You have to just ask them, are you interested? Would you be interested in my services, in my delivery services, okay? But the thing is, when you contact them, please do not just uh, go like uh, in a very unprofessional manner. No, no, no. I want you to be on your Sunday. I want you to be professional. And, you know, you can actually call or you can even walk in there. You can you can go to the hotel, to the store. You can go to the, uh, like you, have, you can go there physically, okay? But I want you to be on your Sunday or Saturday or that's my, but you have to be presentable, for, boss. Okay, so direct contact is really important. Now, you might be thinking, well, you know, how, how do I do this? How do I find those businesses, those potential clients in my area? Well, I said I said this before, Google search. I mean, like, you know, the thing is, you can go to, to the downtown area in your city and start asking questions, okay? I, I, I guarantee you, and we're talking about experiences that, that we have things, things that our own business clients are doing every single day. To get to get new clients to get new uh delivery clients so contact potential clients and it's very important to understand that people are not going to reach out to you if you don't reach out to them first sometimes you have to do the first you have to actually uh do the first step before you see results okay contact potential clients the second thing i want you to do boss if, I, if you always want to, uh, you want to have a cargo van business that always win lower bids, is to bid services on courier websites. By the way, welcome back to the show. It's really a pleasure to have you here. And so it's really important. So see, the thing is that you have a lot of courier websites. And, you know, I'm not talking about load boards. See, the thing is, you know, the whole thing about load board is just like inflated. You know, everybody believes that load boards are, are where the money is at. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Most, I'm talking to you about the uh, the research that our team has done for the last 20 years in this in this field, and we're seeing things in our own business clients. What they're doing here is that they are bidding on courier websites. And when I'm talking about courier websites, you have a lot of them. Okay, you have uh, courier brokers, you have Shipley, you have Fun, R RFP. Okay, and you have uh, the 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 new ones. Okay, I mean you know you, you also have the courier apps. Okay, the thing here is that people are just thinking hey listen i don't think uh I, I can get a load i can get i can win loads on those websites because it's crowded it's not crowded it's not as crowded as you as you think it is okay so this is really important to give it a chance and the thing the thing that i want you to do here is if you have questions about the specific courier websites that will suit your business i want you to drop right now in the comment section and uh, you know you you just tell us your location tell us your city and, and your state and we'll just let you know which one you will, we might be interested in. But, you know, the thing is that um, the, the platforms I'm talking about, the courier websites, they make it fast and easy to bid on jobs, okay? You can set up a, a profile with your business details in advance and bid as the right jobs appear. And so this is this is really important. Now, there, there might be some competition. Don't get me wrong. But what I'm trying to say here is that there is nothing in life that is worth pursuing that is not competitive. Let me repeat that. There is nothing in life that is worth pursuing that is not competitive. So if 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 you if you look at an opportunity that is not competitive, then you know that you're not doing it something right. It has to be competitive. But you know what? You got a chance to. You do have a chance. Okay. So what one thing I want to say here is that 
give yourself, put yourself in a position where you can bid on those courier websites competitively. Okay. So number one, I want you to contact potential clients directly. Number two, you want to bid services on courier websites. And when you contact potential clients, please always talk about your, you know, your, your service, your delivery services, the van that you have, volume capacity. If you have several vehicles, you want to mention that at least you, so you can have a, let's say like a, a competitive edge. Okay. Very important. The third thing I want you to do boss, is to draw clients in organically, organically. That's the keyword organically. By the way, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We're having a conversation about things you can do, at least the top three things you can do to make your cargo van business win load bids all the time. Okay. Now I just spoke to you about draw clients in organically. See, the whole thing is when we talk about draw clients in organically, it means you got to have a website. I know some of y'all don't want to listen to this. You know, when we talk about having a website for a courier service for a cargo van or sweater van business, people are like, yeah, you know, websites, you know, I don't want to have a website, whatever. Listen, boss, I'm not asking you to spend $1,000 or $10,000 on a website. Nowadays, there are websites that you can do for free. Okay. If you, if you don't believe, if you don't believe me, just uh, drop in in a comment section. We'll let you know how to set up a website for free. But even if you, even if you're paying five dollars, that's you just paying five dollars for a website. Isn't it worth it? It, it is a business, boss. I mean, you got to think of, you got to think of it as a business. See, the whole thing is, if you want to make money in this in this cargo van business, you got to be willing to invest. You know, don't you believe that you're going to start making money if you sit on your ass not doing anything and just expect the, the money to come to you? It ain't coming. It ain't coming that way, boss. It ain't coming that way. So. You need to set up a website. If you want to draw clients in organically, you need to set up a website. I'm not talking about having a website with 20 pages. I'm talking about a website that has two or three or four pages maximum. You have a website where you just uh, like you have an uh, about us. You talk about the kind of delivery services you do. You have a contact us page and that's it. About us, delivery services, like about us, what we do, and uh how to contact us three pages boss three pages but you gotta have that if you want google to start recognizing you see the whole thing is when we talk about draw clients and drawing clients in organically you gotta really speak the language that google's algorithm search algorithm speaks okay so th that you know you you have a seo there's something called seo so you have search engine math after optimization by having the right keywords by optimizing your your uh, website for the right keywords then you can actually uh you can actually shine locally this is important boss okay if you again if you have questions let us know so here you have it the, the top three things you want to do to always win cargo van load bees okay contacting potential clients Bid, bidding services on courier websites, drawing clients in organically. Again, it's not always, it's never always about, uh, it's not always about uh, load boards. Now, let me actually go a little further. I want to spill more beans on this conversation, on this topic. So if you want to get courier contracts, if you want to get a courier contracts, you need to have a formula for success. You know, what we call formula for sex, for success is that you got to be in a situation where you're asking yourself, okay, how do I be, how do I become competitive? Okay. How do I actually uh, position myself to always attract clients? See, the whole thing here is that, you know, you have a lot of things you can do first, bid on online platforms. And I mean, all platforms, including apps. Okay. And, and the reason why we're not giving you a list of apps or a list of online platforms in this show is because some of those platforms and apps they, they have their, their, their pros and cons depending on your geography. So depending on the city and state where you are at, you will, you'll find that some apps are better than others. Okay. So because delivery is a very localized business, it's a very, like very targeted business. Okay. So it's really important. So you want to be on online platforms, but again, if you tell us the kind of uh, city and state where you are at, we'll let you know. And the thing. The thing is that you, you're going to realize that once you start bidding on online platforms and apps, you, you're going to start seeing what others are doing 
that you're not doing like you're you, you just you're just going to be in a position where you are going to improve yourself you are going to improve your business tactics and, and whatnot try to always drop customers to your site through marketing techniques you gotta have you gotta have a website boss okay don't you try to get into a, a a lazy ass attitude and telling me that you can't have any web, any website you gotta have a website you gotta be on social media at least be on facebook okay be on a website i'm not asking you to be on tiktok to kind of look at the to kind of have like a one minute funny videos no i mean those those are for those are for you know entertainment we're talking about business okay so you got to be on social media and sometimes you got to cold call potential clients i said this before when i say contacting potential clients that means sometimes you have to walk in there you have to walk in the story the story yourself or you have to cold call even though our preferred strategy is to actually uh, be to actually go there physically go there physically but but have a polite uh, you know have a, an attitude that is polite that is courteous you got to have proper business etiquette i want you to dress well I, I want you to shave okay i want you i mean if you're a woman i want you to put on your sunday if you're a man i want you to put on sunday on your saturday and be presentable be presentable boss let me give you a bonus if you have made it so far and by the way i want to quickly talk to you about to, i want to remind you of today's topic we're having a conversation about three things that make your cargo van win load bays all the time and i'm giving you those three things right you, you have to contact potential clients you have to bid services on courier websites and yet you have to draw clients in organically now when we talk about if, if you want to have uh, the the formula for success that i've just talked to you, that i've just given you it's important to have excellent courier service you know i don't care i don't care how good you believe your your cargo van business is or how great your services i mean whatever how beautiful your car is your, your van is whatever delivery service customer service courier service it's important and so when we talk about courier service we're talking about three things we're talking about punctuality <clears throat> we're talking about customer service and we're talking about like your responsiveness your rate of responsiveness let me repeat that punctuality okay delivery service and the rate of, of a responsiveness punctuality means what if the clients want you to show up at 9 a.m eastern i want your ass to show up at 9 a.m eastern no questions asked no apologies no excuses n none of that this is a business we're talking about boss we're talking about a business we're not speaking about like are you going to a, to a theater on, on friday night with, with your date no we're talking about a business so you got to be punctual number two the delivery services so the thing is that everything has to be in tip-top shape when you deliver you know make sure your cargo van is always there on time and you just uh, you, you 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 do the loadout you have uh, the loading and the loadout things are just in top shape you just deliver the, the loads you pick things no questions asked be professional be professional and the third thing is the rate of responsiveness if they send you an email if they send you a text message you got to respond real fast especially during normal working hours you got to respond real fast and i ideally what we tell our clients is that you will you always want to give the clients a a phone number see the whole thing is that yeah they have your your email but your your phone number your mobile phone number is also important because like uh generally we all are more responsive via sms people are more responsive via sms than via email okay so you want to increase your chances of actually uh you want to communicate with your clients better by having also your email addresses okay now let me give you the approach that you need to actually follow to always win in this industry you know when we talk about actually boosting your courier business you got to have a multi-pronged approach okay it's not just like a one thing that works you know don't put your eggs in the same basket do not put or do not put all your eggs in the same basket not at all not at all okay you got to try different things like that's why we always we always are saying hey listen don't you believe that you know of course you got to reach out to to uh, local dispatchers you got to reach out to freight boards you have to go to load boards you have to try your freight brokers yes but you got to try different things too and that's what we're sharing to, in today's conversation so if you want to get delivery contracts 
for your cargo van, for your surrender van, and you want to do this uh, constantly. It's really important to understand that there are some niches, okay? There are some niches that always that always need uh, delivery services. For example, you have, uh, you know, the medical industry, like the health and healthcare industry. So you have medical couriers who always have jobs. You have moving companies, okay? You have, uh, you have uh, uh, if you have uh, house people who are moving, See, the whole thing is here is that you got to position yourself. When I talk about having a niche, a niche is important, okay? So if you want to have a, have a multi-pronged approach, you got to say, listen, I'm going to deliver for the healthcare industry. I'm going to deliver for people who are moving. I'm going to deliver, let's say, for, for, for landscapers and whatnot. I'm going to deliver perishables like for the food, for the food industry. I'm going to do hazmat deliveries. You got to position yourself. You can't be like, listen, yeah, you know, I, I'm just going to sit there and sit my ass and just wait for it. business to come. It ain't coming. There's no free lunch, boss. There ain't no free lunch. I'm, I'm just, I'm just giving it, I'm giving it to you straight. All right. And I'm, I'm not trying to razzle dazzle you, trying to say, tell you something that is far from, re it's uh, really out of reality. That's the reality I'm telling you today. Right now, in, in this day and age, I'm telling you that the competition is very tough. A lot of folks are getting to uh, the delivery business. You know why? Because they know there's a lot of money to be made in it. People talk about, you know, I see, sometimes we see people on YouTube and other places on Reddit and whatnot. They're just bashing the cargo van industry. They're just full of sh. They are full of sh. I'm telling you because, see, there's still money to be made here. And and I'm not talking about, like, you know, small ass money. I'm, t I'm talking about real money. But you got to position yourself. You have to position yourself if you want to make money in this industry. Very important. Okay, so now when we talk about actually uh, you uh, you having a uh, you always getting delivery contracts, you gotta have the right equipment. See. When we talk about equipment, you gotta make sure your cargo van is in top ship. Maintenance must be done. You gotta have insurance in order. You have to have uh, you know checkups. All the things, all the mechanical check checkups or whatever, it's really important. You know, the thing is that don't you just look at, uh, yeah, you know, I want to make money real fast. You know, yeah, you know, I, I just want to, I, I don't care about it. But you got to have a car. You got to have the right piece of equipment if you are trying to make money in this industry. Because it, it doesn't really matter if you're contacting potential clients for a business and they realize you don't have the right van. You don't have a, a van that is uh, mechanically healthy. Okay, and you're just trying to drive around in town. Like, let's say you have an old, you have an old, an old van, old cargo van. Okay, I'm not saying you have to have like a new van to actually make money, but you got to have a van that is in working condition, in workable condition. Boss, this is really, this is really important. So we really got to get serious. If you're if you're trying to if we are trying to win cargo van load bays like uh, all the time, we got to be in a situation where we are constantly up in our game and up in your game means you got to actually invest in getting the right van i'm talking about either buying the van you know we've talked about you know how to find sources of of uh financing for your cargo van business either you either you buy it outright or you just lease it okay either way you you can actually make money okay so boss i want you to really it you know it, it's important to make sure you have the right piece of equipment that's one thing i want to mention have the proper proper insurance proper insurance okay don't you get some don't you get a van that is uh, underinsured because something happened if something happens you are in big trouble okay and you might lose business if clients realize that you are a source of risk for them in other words if you don't have the proper risk coverage they cannot really trust you with their with their loads because he, listen again this is a business stuff happens stuff happens you never know so you got to cover your ass you gotta you gotta cover your ass, and covering your ass means you gotta have the proper insurance. No questions asked. Don't you start telling me stuff like you know, yeah, I got, you know, I don't have money, whatever. This is a business, so you gotta find ways to actually get covered when it comes to insurance. I'm not talking about under insurance, okay? Very important. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I had a quick uh, a quick uh, walkthrough when it comes to the top three things you can do that make your cargo van win load base instantly. So contact potential clients. Not instantly, but you know, it it takes some time, but you you have uh, the potential there. So you want to contact potential clients. This can be either cold calling or just walking there physically, like live, okay? 
you want to bid services on courier websites and apps you want to draw clients in organically through sem search engine marketing or search engine optimization okay by having you you, you got to have a website first though okay so i also spoke to you about the importance of uh of giving an excellent courier service okay and also having a multi-pronged a multi-pronged approach very important thank you god bless you i'll speak to you another time but until then remember stay marvelous